Hello and Hello welcome, and welcome to, to Principles of Programming, programming chapter, chapter 4. four. We're, We're going into, into still, still in Java. In Java. Uh, uh, this video should cover 4-3, 4-4, and if it's if not it's too not long, 4-5. All right, so, so let's dive into 4-3. We're going to be We're talking, be talking about, about understanding this if, if, if else, else loops, loops in uh, uh, Java. Java. Let's, Let's look at our look code, at our code and, our and our instructions. So we've got, got a lot of code, code in there for us already, already, so we'll, so we'll be probably, probably doing the if statements. And select the run code, code button. Mm -hmm. to execute the program. program. Let's go down one more. Your, your task. task. In this, this lab, lab, you, you complete a pre-written Java, Java program that calculates, that calculates employees, employees productivity, 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 productivity. Bonus, bonus and, and prints print the employee's name, name and bonus. Bonus. bonuses bonus are calculated based on an employee's, employee's productivity productive score shown below. The productivity, productivity score is calculated, is calculated by first dividing an employee's, employee's transaction dollar value, value by, the by the number of transactions, transactions and then dividing the results by the number of, of shifts shift worked. Work. Productivity, productivity score bonus, bonus uh, uh, greater than 30, 30 equals $50, 31 is 69, or Less than, than and equal, equal to 30, 30 is $50. 30 $31 is $69, $75, $70, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100,
copy now. So just like that, that. See if we got, got takes. takes. Let's go ahead and run that. And that. And we're going to run the floor. Air driver. Let's see if we got an air wrap. Okay, quick look at the code. Moved a few things around, but let's look at the code again. Notice one, two, three, four. Dollar three, two, pain. Score, dollar value. So we didn't get bonus. We didn't add. We had to add bonus for. So I left that out. No, I forgot about that. So that's what I didn't do. But I did add bonus for afterwards. But this is our nested if statement. And let's go ahead and calculate this up. And see if we got got what it takes. We did add the score, dollar value, that needed to be added, and then this whole nested statement here. Score 200 here. Except this is the brackets do get confusing inside these nesting statements. So make sure you count them and you got them in the right place. If you have any miss out, miss a bracket, have one too many or one less than you need, it's not gonna count it, it's gonna count against you. Alright? So we will get an error. But this time we got an error free and good to do. And as you can see, we did get the 100 for the grade, and we got both greens. So take another look at the code again. You got your score, dollar value, number of transaction, number of shift, the brackets. You got your if statements. Make sure you got your semicolons correct, and you got all four of your bonuses. And here we go. So we'll go on to the next one, which is. So it's Java 4-4, uh, using a switch statement in Java. So let's go ahead and look at the code and see what they got for us. All right, let's go to my, our task. In the lab, you complete a pre-written Java program that calculates an employee's end of the year bonus and prints the employee's name, uh, yearly salary, performance rating, and bonus. And the program bonuses are calculated based on employees' annual salary and their performance rating. The rating system is contained in Table 4-5. So rating, 25% of annual salary, 15% for 2, 10% for 3, and none for 4. So it's Table 4-5 here is what we're going to use. So variables have been declared for you, and input statements and output statements have been written. Read them over carefully before you proceed to the next step. Look at what we got here. String employees, string salary, string double employee salary, string, string double employee. 
Bio bonus one, two, three. Bio double, no bonus. Three, no bonus. And the rating one, two, three. There's no work. Yeah, four is none. So then I put that in there. All right, let's get user input. They've already got that for us. Convert strings to int or double. Employee equals double. Integer. And that was good. And then use switch statement here to calculate bonus based on the rating. Okay, so that's the part we have to do. Alright, let's jump into it. Let's go sign the logic. Switch to right, right here. Let's go ahead and do the enter. Alright, so first switch. Let's write the switch statement. And we do brackets and call it employee rating. bonus equals employee salary bonus equals employee salary uh, times bonus one Copy and paste these twice. So, right. We'll see why in a minute. So, rating two. Here we have to after the break. Uh, so without that, we'll call that the default. Default employee bonus equals employee bonus equals. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run it, I guess. Let's go to the program, enter the following input. Alright, let's give us our prompts. Let's give us our prompts. So, got it running. And symbol, variable bonus. So, it's showing us an error. Let's go ahead and dig into this error real quick. Let's see what we can find. Alright, so we found this variable no bonus. I left out my underscore here. So now it's set turn blue. Location class employment bonus two. So that's where it's located as class. So that should be the only error. Let's run it again. And we've got looks like no error, but we can't do any input. 
that be the case, let's go ahead and calculate it. But when you do these, you will have errors. That's it's part of it's natural, especially when you copy and paste and just type normally. You'll be able to find them is the most important thing. So, trying to calculate this to see what it's going to give us. If they give us a hundred, we won't worry about the input. Uh, if I try this on my IDE, I can probably get it to run or allow the output input. Sometimes it works in Java, sometimes it don't. When we do this in C++, you'll probably see it come up and give me an option to do that. I haven't been able to solve that yet, so therefore, if you're not able to do it on yours, uh, as long as you got the code right, then I'll, you'll get total full credit for it. If you want to try it on, on Visual Basic or some other platform, uh, you're more than welcome to. So we got 100% grade, and we got green on our task, so that assignment is complete. So let's go ahead and do this last one, this 4-5. Uh, squeeze this one on the video as well. All right, and 4-5 is making multiple comparisons in decision statements. All right, so let's go into 4-5. Task is going to be, in this tab, you completed a partially written Java program for an airline that offers a 25% discount to passengers who are six years old or younger and the same discount to passengers that are 65 year old and older. Uh, the program should request a passenger's name and age and then print whether the passenger is eligible or not eligible for a discount. Instructions, variables have been declared, initialized for you and the in, uh, input statements have been written. Read them carefully before you proceed to the next step. So we have our passenger name string, string age string, uh, integer passenger age, it's zero, so uh, age, so passenger with the age, so it's letting us know that we can put in the passenger name and age So for input. Then here, passenger name, so you have to pain. So this is to allow us to see enter passenger's name. Uh, that uh, function is already put it for us. And then we're just pointing to this one as well, the age string. So here we're going to test it. So let's dive into design logic and or statement. Write the decision statement to identify within a discount should be offered and when a discount should not be offered. All right, so let's go ahead through these and try to get these on with the, let's go this route, enter. All right, so first, if, if statement and then you'll let's go with passenger age. It's greater than or equal since it's or it's less than or equal to set six. Yeah, six.
person is eligible for 25 percent discount. Pass your name, pass your name, pass your age, pass your age. Just pass your name. Discount. And that's all I need. I'll put the period there before the quotations. And boom, boom, yep, that's all I need for that. Now I need another else. I to put this one up a little closer. Here. Seems to have ran good, but didn't allow us room for input. So let's calculate our grade so we know the code is good. Calculating still. All right, so I have that. It's, it got to 100%. That means the code, the code is correct. In yours, it may require you to input this information. Uh, if it does pop up and gives you input, it says uh, computer uh, customer name. You start with this one, the age, and then it should give you that. And if you go down and do all of these, once you do that, then calculate it. If you're able to calculate it, it gives you credit for then. You can skip that part. But the way mine is set up as instructor, I might not, that might be it, but could be some add-ons. Just make sure you go through the orientation, uh, the first part of the videos before the class starts. So if there's any additional thing you need to add onto your uh, simulator, that you'll have it on there. But I noticed with Java, it sometimes does and sometimes doesn't with this program. But a lot of times C++ does, and sometimes Python has the same issue. But we got the code right, so you can take another look at the code if you want to. Only is the, out, the output's the only thing we change, the if statement, and then our else. Like I said, if you're having errors, uh, make sure you count your brackets. They have to be the same amount open and the same amount close. All right. So thanks for viewing the video. Uh, make sure you click that like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and have a wonderful day.